It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is because... There was a comment in the comment section yesterday. Uh, I did one on Betty Lynn and how she was so upset because of uh, Don Knotts leaving and how the last episode they filmed together in the last day and how she cried and cried and so on. And someone said, well, they should have, Andy Griffith show should have just kept her when Don left. Well, they tried. And that's why this video, I'm making this video. So uh, let, let's watch the video and it'll explain. Thelma Lou, you're juicier than a barrel full of corn squeezins. The Jeff Pruitt tells the Mayberry Lass in an Andy Griffith Show episode, The Farmer Takes a Wife. Alan Hale Jr. guest stars as the big lug looking to take Thelma Lou away from her steady guy, Barney Fife. In the Andy Griffith Show, Betty Lynn played Thelma Lou to such perfection that producers stopped looking for other girls to pair up with their funny deputy. Lynn expected that this decision might make her more valuable to the show. When she was first cast, they offered her about $500 an episode to play Thelma Lou. And after her role became more regular, the actor asked for a raise. All she wanted was an extra $50 per episode. But Lynn told the Associated Press in 2007, the Andy Griffith Show's stern response surprised her. We can replace you, they told Betty Lynn, who could do nothing but cry to her co-star Don Knotts. I told Don about it. He said, they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have let you go, Lynn remembered. Uh, she decided not to risk it and never mentioned the raise again. Then five years later, Knotts uh, decided to leave the Andy Griffith show and producers saw Lynn with fresh eyes. They didn't want fans to lose Thelma Lou too. Lynn said producers came to her after great deliberation and offered to give Thelma Lou a hairdressing salon that would have kept Thelma Lou and Mayberry for the rest of the series run. Lynn thought it over. Essentially, her salon would have been a female version of Floyd's barber shop expanding on the girlish humor that Barbara Eden flirted with in the Andy Griffith Show episode, The Manicurist. But as any Mayberry fan can tell you, this was not the future that Lynn ultimately saw for Thelma Lou. To Lynn, without Barney, I didn't think Thelma Lou made much sense. Whether or not the character shift made sense, I can't help but wonder if Thelma Lou might have convinced Aunt B to change up her hair after all those years. So, the show tried uh, to keep Betty Lynn. Uh, kind of shabby on the 50 bucks, but uh, they did try to keep Betty Lynn on the show. And uh, let's face it, Thelma Lou and Barney belong together, and that would have never worked, in my opinion. That Barney probably could have gotten by with it, but Thelma Lou couldn't have. Uh, you know, she just, they were like, you know, they, be mm. they belong together. And thankfully, at Return to Mayberry, they did get married. So that's all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Link is in the description below. Uh, please subscribe while you're over there. Please subscribe while you're here. Have a great day. God bless you. And I'll be praying for you.